Americans are celebrating Thanksgiving Thursday as they traditionally do, gathering with family and friends around tables, groaning with food, watching parades and football games, and for many, starting their holiday shopping. Increased security measures, including sand-laden dump trucks and bomb-sniffing dogs, will be part of the annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York City this year. The New York police have an additional security challenge this year as well. President-elect Donald Trump's high-rise residence is a block from the parade route. And for the last time, President Barack Obama performed the traditional pardoning of the national Thanksgiving turkeys. As Americans celebrate Thanksgiving, a local group brings volunteers and community members together with their newly resettled refugee neighbors for a special type of Thanksgiving meal. Elizabeth Chernoff reports. This isn't your typical Thanksgiving, but here in Arlington, Virginia, friends and families of recently arrived refugees are coming together, sharing a taste of a quintessential American holiday. I'm really happy to work with uh, uh, refugees. Kiris Tesfai moved to the United States with help from the Ethiopian Community Development Council, a nonprofit group helping refugees find jobs, schools, and places to live. Tonight's Thanksgiving meal is meant to welcome newcomers, some who arrived here only within the last month. The aim of the program is we give them the love, we give them the American opportunity. America is for everyone, uh, so we give them that love for them. That's the dinner program. Coming together around the table, this Thanksgiving dinner is a multicultural buffet of sorts. I think this is my fifth or sixth Thanksgiving. Sadiq Ali Hedri, originally from Pakistan, is here with his 19-year-old daughter. Across the room, Chandra from Sri Lanka is all smiles. Very nice, very nice. So many people I see ready. The different country people I see ready. And different food I see ready. You won't find political squabbling around these tables. Only people enjoying good company and good food. When people share food, uh, an extraordinary thing happened. All of a sudden people find out they have more in common than their differences. Embracing those differences, according to ECDC's director, is part of what has helped the program thrive over the past 30 years. Our role in uh, refugee settlement is integrating them into the community. There is no better way of introducing Thanksgiving as part of the integration process. Together, these families, hopeful for the future, break bread as part of an American tradition. Elizabeth Chernoff, VOA News, Arlington, Virginia.